What's up everybody, it's your favorite luchador, the one and only gamer. And today guys, we got some fire news for you guys. And we're gonna be talking about a new PlayStation 5? Is it the PlayStation 5, bro? What? And we're also gonna be talking about Netflix going into gaming. Guys, if you like videos like this, don't forget to hit that like, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? And elbow drop that subscribe button. Let's start this whole thing. Bro! Okay guys, this is it, a new PlayStation 5 model coming guys, and let's, let's read and then we're gonna discuss this. A new PlayStation 5 mo model has been accidentally leaked, unfortunately for PlayStation fans, it, it isn't as exciting as it sounds on the surface level. The new model isn't a brand new console that will give PlayStation fans a third option when shopping for a PlayStation 5, but a revision of the pre-existing digital model of the console. The $400 version of the console that comes without a disk drive, further the revision doesn't appear to be very no notable, noticeable, uh, noticeable. <laughs> in fact, it's not even 100% clear what has been changed. The leak comes the way of official official Sony Japan website and leaks the new whatever model, right? CF whatever, which weight 300 grams less than the current all digital PlayStation 5 model. Obviously, something was changed to facilitate this, but it is unclear what this change is or why is being made okay guys so it's lighter only 300 grams lighter and so far at least i haven't heard anybody saying anything about playstation 5 pro well very soon we're gonna hear it guys and i don't well, this is not a change at all uh, this is only gonna be inside, guys. Like, I don't see any changes that this is gonna be making. Uh, we're not gonna see any changes in this. It, 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 my opinion, I think it's only gonna be the inside of the PlayStation 5 that they're gonna change some stuff. Probably, maybe, less. it's gonna be less cost for PlayStation, maybe for manufacturing, so they can make more, because they're way behind. They cannot keep up with the with the demand of the PlayStation 5, so this was gonna be, guys. There's no PlayStation 5 Pro or any other more upgradable model, even if it, if it is digital. This is it, guys. There's nothing. There's nothing that so far we see that this is gonna be like a big, like like a big change or anything new. So, but if anything, guys, if if we're gonna like stay on top of this news and see see if anything comes out out of this and next guys let's talk about netflix netflix is going into gaming and we've been hearing this for a while netflix going into gaming a lot of time we've been hearing oh who's gonna be the netflix of gaming oh is it s cloud gonna be the netflix of gaming game pass is the netflix of gaming oh yeah but when you think about it game pass you don't really stream the game, you download the game. So you need to 
download the game, wait for the game to download. When you stream games, like when you stream movies and stuff like on Netflix, you click and the movie starts. There's no downloading. Yes, you can download movies on Netflix too. If you don't have internet, that's the whole reason of being, you know, to be able to download a movie. You know, but the the thing about this is big, guys. Because even though, let, let, let's, let's read this. Streaming giant Netflix has confirmed in a shareholder letter that it's not only expanding into games, but also won't charge user extra to play them. So this is big. There's not gonna be any extra charge for for any games that they add into the Netflix subscription, which is huge. But let's keep on reading this, guys. Netflix said it's planned to build on a company earlier efforts around interactivity. Think, think things. What? Think, think things like Black Mirror, Bandernatch, or the Stranger Things line of games. In doing so, the offering of title Netflix add to its service will came at no additional cost to users. Similar to films and series, however, the company said that the game will only be available on mobile devices for now. So, the, we're all only gonna have it in mobile devices for now. But if you really think about it, if you really think about it, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of Netflix being able to do this. Is Stadia in, in trouble? Stadia is already in trouble. This is just like the final nail in the coffin for Stadia. Stadia ain't gonna last. Stadia, I try Stadia. Stadia sucks so bad. It's so bad. But I don't have great internet. So I can't talk too much, you know, about, about Stadia because I don't have great internet. But I have tried and what I have, what I have tried oh my god it sucks i hate it it's so laggy it's so bad it, everything like it's it's ridiculous i hate i hate stadia i have tried xbox and i also have tried playstation now and g4 i tried g4 for a little bit and g4 g4 was great but then developers didn't want him didn't want steam to be um, even though you own the game on Steam, you couldn't use their, the servers to be able to play the game streaming some of that if the developer if the developer didn't want it to, which is ridiculous. You already pay for the game. You already pay for the game. You should be able to play the game at no cost at all. It's ridiculous. But this is big, guys. Netflix going into gaming. This is the beginning of the end of Stadia, guys. I'm telling you guys, this is going to be great. Even though it's going to be in mobile devices first, I'm pretty sure that then soon it's going to come to the to be able to literally just play on the TV. Just maybe you hook up your Xbox um, controller, PlayStation 5. Maybe they make their own controller, which eh, it's like they probably will make it. But also you can also play with your controllers. I mean, hopefully it's like that. It's not like you can only play with their controller. But let's see what happens in the future. But I think it's going to be big. I think if they start throwing bigger games. And and, and it's, it's more than just mobile devices. Later on in the future. I see. It, it's crazy how, how we, we see like Netflix. And everybody's like. Oh who's going to be the Netflix of game. But nobody thought it was going to be Netflix itself. The Netflix of game. <laughs> Which is crazy you know. But. It's gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be great. Being able to play games on Netflix, I think that's that's pretty cool, guys. So, guys, what do you guys think about the new PlayStation 5 model? You think it's gonna be, like, better? You think it's gonna be, like, a PlayStation 5 Pro? Or it's just gonna be, like, what I told you guys and what a lot of people have been saying, at least for what I'm hearing, a lot of people have been saying, at least this time, they're not saying, oh, PlayStation 5 Pro. They're going with the flow of only 300. The the that is is lighter, only only 300 grams lighter. So it's not that much of a difference that we're gonna see. It's gonna be I think internal changes and that's it. But 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 let me let me let me um let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think and what you guys think about 
Netflix bringing games to the platform. Are you excited? You're like, ah, whatever. I, I don't care about cloud gaming. You know, like, I mean, in my opinion, what I, in, 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 in what I had, the experience that I have when it comes to, like, streaming games, it's been great, in my opinion. And I have streamed more games, especially in PlayStation Now. And it's crazy, because a lot of people don't talk about PlayStation Now. They're like, oh, Game Pass, blah, blah, blah. But I think PlayStation Now is, is, is now it's like getting more serious. They're, they're bringing more AAA games. They just, they just put, um, what do you call it? Um, Red Dead. They just add Red Dead Redemption. They they add a couple of new games. You should you guys should check it out PlayStation now. Cause if when you really think about it, if you pay the the sixty dollars for the whole year, you guys can play. Basically, it's five dollars a month, even cheaper than 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 Game Pass. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think about this news? And guys, if you like videos like this, don't forget to hit that like, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any of my videos. And remember, if you're new to this channel, elbow drop that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you guys on the next video. Take care, guys.